Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. In this X-Plane 12 video, we are going to be taking a look at the recently released V-Flight Air Cessna 150 commuter. V-Flight Air has been developing general aviation aircraft for X-Plane for a very long time. And thus far, I have been very pleased with every purchase I've made from this developer. It looks like though V-Flight Air have stepped things up in their very first native aircraft for X-Plane 12. Let's begin by examining the 3D modeling, the texture work, the aircraft features, and of course, we're gonna take it for a short flight and put it to the test. Having examined real world footage of the Cessna 150, I can report to you that the 3D model of the aircraft is done to a very high standard. The texture work is done to an acceptable standard in my view. As you can see, some edges here are a bit rough on the textures and the bolts are kind of low in resolution, but overall very nice details and very nice attention to details uh, all over this uh, aircraft 3D model. The use of reflective material, I think, is done to a good standard on this aircraft, but I cannot say the same about the windshield here. As you can see, the reflections look a little bit strange. And the detailing, while I do appreciate a lot of the details on this uh, aircraft 3D model, I still feel that they could have done a better job with the texturing. Nothing too serious and nothing really takes away from this beautiful aircraft but I felt that they could have done a little better in terms of the texture work. The interior 3D modeling and texture work is done to a high standard in my view, though some parts of the aircraft could use a little bit of work in terms of the textures, as you can see here on the door panel. The texture resolution is a bit lacking and you can see it as well here. Perhaps the developer was trying to strike a balance between an older look and the quality of the textures. You can see the flight yokes look phenomenal. They look incredibly realistic and the use of reflective materials inside the aircraft is done better than the outside in my view. Again, nice attention to details on the rudder pedals, on the door handles and uh, the um, headsets uh, here. Uh, again, you can see that the resolution of the headsets is not of the highest quality, but still very representative of what a headset looks like. Overall, very good effort in terms of the 3D modeling and the texturing of the aircraft. V-Flight Air has introduced some new features in this Cessna 150 that were not seen before in their products. You can toggle the headset on and off, the sunglasses on and off on a sunny day. You can also open the glove compartment and use the light, which is it's actually usable and that's a really nice feature. And, but what really, um, what really is brand new and never seen on their products is the introduction of their control panel. And this little box here on the side of the screen, you can move to where you like. And this is something I do like from a you know, usability perspective. And when you click this, you have the new V-Flight Air control panel. From the control panel, you're able to select the pilot gender, show and hide the glass gauges as you can see. So if you are suffering from performance, you can turn this off. Uh, you can also show the reflective glass as you can see here. You can also turn the shake effect on and off. You can also opt for the realistic engine start. You can turn this off to revert to the X-Plane default um, engine start or use the realistic. I prefer to use the realistic to really put the aircraft to the test. You can also toggle the tie downs here as you can see. And let me switch quickly to the external view. And now you can see the aircraft is of course in a completely cold and dark state with the cover and all the static elements. The Cessna 150 of course has full support for the Avitab plugin and you can choose to show it or hide it from within this option. You can turn off the wheel pants on and off. You can also shut the fuel valve from within the control panel as it is located in a bit of an awkward place. It is actually right here. It is currently in the on position. So we can just click this here to toggle to the off position. You can also toggle the start from cold and dark uh, state here. One of the nicest new features in this V-Flight Air Cessna 150 is the ability to change your navigation configuration by clicking here. 
you can go from the commuter to the commuter with ADF, computer with GPS, as well as the trainer configuration. For the purpose of our first look review today, we are going to be using the commuter configuration. Another nice feature introduced by VFlight Air is the ability to perform a pre-flight walkaround. You can simply click on the spots here, and as you can see, it will guide you through the instructions to complete the walkaround. Let's take a look here. You can open the fuel panels as well and check the fuel. You can remove the static elements by clicking on them, and you can check the aircraft oil as well. To tow the aircraft, you can use the tow bar feature. You can cycle through the available liveries by clicking on the hotspot here and here. As you can see, the registration number changes automatically, and the nice touch is that the registration number changes on the keychain as well. The control panel also ships with a load manager that allows you to set your passenger and cargo as well as your fuel in both tanks. A full checklist that goes from pre-flight to descend and landing the aircraft is also integrated within the control panel. You will also be very pleased to know that this particular configuration, the commuter configuration, comes with a fully functioning autopilot. In the sounds department, I believe VFlight Air has done a reasonable job uh, with the development of a custom FMOD sound set for the aircraft. Uh, although I noticed that the radio switch sounds are missing, but as you can see here, but overall the sounds are nice. You can hear the, again, the mixture here, the throttle, uh, carb heat, nice sounds overall, the flaps, uh, lever here, uh, the, noise, the, the sounds are, are reasonable. Uh, they're not exactly, you know, the highest quality sounds, but what I do like about the sounds is the sounds of the engine. And the engine sound has been recorded from a real Cessna 150, according to V-Flight Air. The time has come for us now to start the aircraft from its cold and dark state and take it for a short test flight. Let's go ahead and turn on the rotating beacon and turn on the battery and alternator. We're gonna make sure that the fuel lever is set to on, which it is now. The mixture is on full rich. We're gonna crack the throttle about one quarter of an inch, and we're gonna give it, uh, prime the engine. All right, let's get our keys. Clear prop. Listen to those engine sounds, folks. Let's switch to the external view. Very nice sounds. All right, we are pretty much uh, good to go here. And let's go ahead and release the parking brake and head over to the runway for departure. The avionics are on. Everything here looks good. We're going to turn on the transponder to the on position. We're going to squawk uh, 1200, uh, which is the VFR squawk code. And let's go ahead and release the parking brake. Parking brake is released. Overall, the handling on the ground is uh, is pretty good. It's not uh, overly sensitive or anything like that. It feels right. All right, we're approaching the runway. Landing lights on, strobe lights are on. All right, we are cleared for takeoff. Okay. 
60 knots. Rotate. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you guys, the handling of this aircraft is very pleasant, both uh, on ground and up in the air. Let's make a slight turn to the left. Slight turn to the right. Very nice. Let's gain some altitude. And we're climbing at about 600 feet per minute. Very nice handling uh, up in the air. It feels very nice without a doubt. Feels very realistic. It's got this really real feel to it. All right, we are now at about 1,100 feet. I'm going to go ahead and idle the power. And we're going to hold it steady. And that is very accurate behavior of the stall for the 150 according to some of the videos that I have seen. We're going to pitch down and give it power and recover from the stall. Very nice handling of the aircraft overall. Let's climb back up to 1,000 feet. All right, and we are back at 1,000 feet. Let's make a turn and head back towards the airport. Overall, very, very nice handling of the aircraft up in the air and uh, on the ground as well. We have the runway in sight. I'm going to start reducing our speed. About 500 feet per minute. Descent rate. Very lovely uh, aircraft by V Flight Air. As it is the case with all their um, add ons for X Plane. Right, let's uh, lower the flaps. Right, flaps are deployed. And touchdown.
My concluding remarks on the V-Flight Air Cessna 150 is that it is an aircraft developed to a very high standard, though I feel that some of the texture work could use some improvement. The integration of a brand new control panel jam-packed with features is definitely a pleasant addition to the aircraft. The aircraft features very reasonable custom F-mod sounds in the interior and very realistic engine sounds recorded from the real aircraft. I haven't found any problems with the handling of the aircraft whether on the ground and up in the air. It definitely does have that realistic feel to it. The stall behavior of the aircraft seems to be very accurate according to what I know about the 150. And based what we have experienced today with this V-Flight Air Cessna 150 commuter, I can recommend this aircraft with the Q8 Pilot seal of approval and a final score of 8 out of 10. Well folks, this pretty much brings us to the conclusion of our first look review video of the V-Flight Air Cessna 150. I hope that you have found this review to be useful and insightful. If you have any questions, as usual, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.